वेलकम टू माई डस्ट जेन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इन दिस टूटोरियल वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन जेनरेट अ मेस्ट स्लैब इन माई डस्ट जेन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द शेप ऑफ द स्लैब एंड द इनपुट डाटा अवेलेबल अ मेस्ट स्लैब कैन बी जेनरेटेड वेरी इजिली इन माई डस्ट जेन इेगुलर स्लैब्स कैन बी क्रिएटेड क्विकली एंड इवन द ओपनिंग्स कैन बी क्रिएटेड वेरी इजिली there are three methods of generating a mesh slab in mitre chain in the first method we can start from a plate element here we have generated a plate element and we can mesh this plate element into a meshed slab so we are meshing a bigger planar element into the smaller planar elements the second method is using the boundary line elements for example if we have the boundary line elements for the mesh slab we can generate a slab using these boundary line elements like this and the third one is using the nodes only for example we have the nodes for the slab we have the nodes defining the corner of the slab so we can directly generate a slab using these nodes first of all let us see generating a mesh slab using a plate element so here we will see how we can generate a plate element before that first of all we'll see how we can generate a plate element itself in my test so i've deleted that plate element and i will activate only the desired plane so here this will make working very convenient in my dust so now first of all we will generate a plate element here on this boundary and using this boundary we will generate the plate elements so for that we can go to node elements before that we need a thickness of the plate elements so we can go to properties and we can create a thickness for the plate elements so here we can add the thickness let us set to 50 mm so the thickness is reflected here in the works tree with blue color since the thickness is not been used that is why it is blue in color now we'll generate a plate element here so for that we can go to node element and we can go to create elements we can choose the type of element as plate and we can choose the material and the thickness now we can generate the plate element very easily so we have generated this plate element now let us say we want to mesh this plate element so for that we can go to auto mesh and choose the method as planar element we can specify the size of the mesh let us say 500 mm and then we can choose the material and the thickness and we can click on apply so here we can see that the plate has been meshed so this is the first method where we started from the planar element and we generated the meshed plate now we will generate a meshed plate for this boundary let us say we want to generate a planar element here a meshed planar element here let us see how we can do it and also we want to create a opening here we want to create a circular opening so in order to generate a circular opening we should first create the periphery of the circular opening so we can enter the coordinates of the center of the circle and any two points so as soon as we click on apply the circle is generated 
now let us say how we can generate a slab here we can again go to the auto mesh option and we can choose the option as line elements now we can simply select the line elements and we should check off this option mesh inner domains and we can select the materials specify the size of the meshed element and then click on apply so here we can see that the opening will be created and the slab will be meshed so here we saw the second method of generating the plane elements now the third method we have is specially used for irregular slabs so we will see that how we can generate a slab using the nodes only so let us say we have a the corner nodes of the slab and we want to generate a slab for these corner nodes so let us see how we can do it for that we should select the method as nodes and we should select the nodes one by one define the corners then we can specify the size of the meshed element and then we can simply click on apply so here we'll see that the slab has been generated I'll switch off the display of the nodes so here you can see that the slab has been generated now let us see some more features for the slab elements so for these elements I'll create a boundary group and add these to the boundary group I'll create a structure group and add these to the structure group now let us see the slab here you can see that the slab the top of the slab is not flushed with the top of the beam elements but we want to flush the top of the slab with the top of the beam elements so what we can do is that we can go to the thickness properties and we can provide a plate offset So we can provide a plate offset and here you can see that as soon as I provided the offset the slab has moved up and now the top of the slab is flushed with the top of the beam elements. So this is quite useful in modeling the slab elements as this helps to obtain the actual behavior of the slab. Now the second method or the second feature for slab elements that can be very useful for the engineers is the plate stiffness scale factors. For example we want to provide stiffness, we want to provide stiffness scale factors for the plate elements. So let us see how we can do it. So we can simply go to properties, scale factors and plate stiffness scale factors. We can provide the stiffness scale factors and then we can provide the direction for this xx so let us say we want this xx to be in the direction of the global x-axis and then we can click on apply here you can see that we have added a plate stiffness scale factor and this will be applied in the analysis of the slab So the stiffness, the actual stiffness used for the slab will be only 80% of the actual stiffness. So in this way we can use this plate stiffness scale factors in Midas Gen. We hope this video will be useful for you. Feel free to write about the reviews of this video in the comments and for more videos keep subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you.